hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel I am doing a little get ready video with me today on this look right here it was supposed to be like a makeup tutorial but it kind of turned into a get ready with me and I chatted a little bit um, on what I'm doing in Milwaukee and all those sorts of things so and yeah let's get into the next clip and start this video so today we are going to just be doing a simple um, brown eyeshadow look and I am going to be using the and I am going to be using the Lion King palette I really well I really love all the colors in this palette they're so pretty yes this is the one that Darius used on me in his video he actually gave me this so I'm just going to be using the browns in this palette and probably this shimmer down here called Landscape. So let's get started. I have nothing on my face at all. So I am going to be first priming my face. I use Milani Prime Perfection. So what I do first is I start out with my forehead and my eyelids okay so after I got a mirror you guys if you haven't noticed I'm doing this actually in my old room here in Milwaukee so here's my vanity in the back what my plan was or not really what my plan is soon is to hopefully bring this vanity with me to Ohio start I use this color um, I actually got in I got it too dark for my skin I got it when I was super super tan I use I've been switching it up and trying to find like my perfect foundation because I have very oily skin and um, I really want to try when I, once I start making some more cash. So yes, all of this is drugstore makeup. I don't have the funds to buy super expensive makeup. Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Foundation in Caramel. So what I do is I just put this a little bit on my beauty blender and start blending it all around my forehead area and my eyes so what I'm gonna do to fix this color so I don't look so dark I'm gonna put some lighter a lighter shade so I'm gonna like mix it so what I do is I just dab this all over and I stop at like where my eyes like right here so and then I do my eyelids and then I take the pro concealer um I'm running out of this like I said in the last video of the Jeffree Star so I'm just gonna cut it and I'm gonna get the rest out with a brush so let me find a brush I can use I usually use a, a q-tip but that's all the way in the bathroom and I don't want to go get it <laughs> okay so I'm gonna use this brush and what I do is I kind of just like smear some around and put it on my eyelids and then just blend that in I know I'm kind of farther away you guys I'll get the perfect setup just this wasn't really planned well <laughs> wanted the vanity in the background rather than me having me facing it so yeah this looks a lot better my lighting isn't that great either but this is looking a lot better color so I'm not looking super super dark and doesn't match so then what I do is I move on to my eyebrows. I take my Morphe brush. I use Anastasia Dip Brow in shade Soft 
brown. So what I do first is I take the the stuff that was the makeup that was left over on the brush and kind of just do the the um this side first. It's just so I'm not using a lot of makeup on it, so it looks kind of natural. So I just fill these in a little bit like this. And then I start dipping into the dip brow and kind of go underneath and start lining where I want my eyebrows to be. And then I go on top and do the arch. So if they don't turn out perfect, like when you're just filling them in, that's fine because I go back and I use some concealer to shape them. So you kind of just sculpt it out basically and I don't know. To me, I feel like my eyebrows change every single day. I feel like I don't do them the same every day. So some days it's going to be different, some days it's going to look kind of like how you want it to be. <laughs> and on top of it, I need to get my eyebrows done, so they are a little bit bushy now. But anyways, as you can see, I don't have my nails done right now. And it actually, to be honest, feels amazing to have your nails off. Because I've just been getting them filled and filled and filled and... I just need to, I need to take a break for a second so on my way to Milwaukee I was taking them off to give them a little break and let them breathe before I get, well, before I do them again and also I am going to be doing a video review on my nail person that I usually go to so I'm going to be recording that See, I told you I, I, you guys, I had a lot of uh, video ideas in mind, so I really hope that you enjoy them. I was super excited about them. That's why I wanted to come to Milwaukee. I seen some friends yesterday. I arrived yesterday around like one o'clock, and I hung out with my mom, and then I, uh, and then I went to the lake to take some pictures and that's good I went to the lake to take some pictures and then I went and seen other friends that I haven't seen in a while so yeah it was fun and today I'm making this video for you guys I'm actually doing three videos today in a row so after my nail one I am not sure what I should do next but I have an idea in mind which I really hope you guys like this idea. If I do do it, I think I think you guys will like it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, how are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Actually, after this video, I think I'm going to go get some food with my mom. What I'm doing next is... Oh, I'm sorry. I took my e.l.f. concealer and a little brush like this and I'm just lining whoa I'm just lining my brows to make them more sculpted sorry I can't talk and do this I gotta concentrate <laughs> yeah basically I just make them more sculpted and then kind of bring it down on my eyelid so that when I do my eyeshadow it will have a little bit of like a prime on there so I just sculpt my brows mm. 
actually, I, I had a, um, a mukbang idea. Because since in Ohio there isn't a Cousins Subs and I've been craving it, I was thinking about doing that for a mukbang for you guys. So that might happen. I want to, um, they have these street tacos here that I absolutely love and I've been craving those also. So either a sub or tacos or maybe even both. Who knows? <laughs> I'm only here for three days, so I have to get all this in before I go back. This brush is breaking and that's hectic. Oh, this one's so much thicker than this one. <laughs> I have to fix that. So I just take my beauty blender and kind of just like blend this out. like. So, and then I'm gonna go in and fix the other brow and make it a little bit more thicker after I'm done doing this. The thing is, which is I mean, it's not super bad. I just wanted to. I'm making all these videos, and but I can't edit them until I get back to Ohio because I don't have a charger for my computer. So I have to basically just make all my videos, transfer them, and then when I get back to Ohio, I can um, I can start editing. So at least I'll have videos piled up, but I just wanted to start editing now because I'm super excited to get this out to you guys okay I think that looks better but sisters are sisters <laughs> eyebrows are sisters not twins so that's probably like good enough <laughs> some days I really don't even want to put on eyebrows to be honest I try to wear makeup no makeup as much as I can because I my face does break out very often I have very sensitive skin which I really don't like I've always struggled with acne all my life and it really sucks because I wish I didn't so what I do next is just tap the excess off of my hand and kind of just tap it on my inner brows to give it like that. Some people just make like little fake hairs or whatever, but to be honest, I don't have time. <laughs> so yeah, plus it looks fine. So let's see. I am not a professional <laughs> makeup artist, okay? Yeah. I just this is how I do my makeup and I think it turns out pretty good so what I do next is I grab my contour palette you guys know this if you watch my Jeffree Star video grab a brush and just lay down a very light shade and I just decided to do brown a brown eyeshadow look because I, I really got to get better at using colors and this is like a quicker like last minute video idea kind of thing. Well not last minute but I just didn't feel like doing a whole like super extravagant eye color look <laughs> today. So next I'm going to be taking my palette and I'm going to be dipping into... Oh my gosh. Also, I'm trying to video I'm trying to record this and get all of this done by the time my mom comes home from work because I don't know. Not that I don't not that I feel like awkward taping or whatever because I can like close my door, but they can still hear me and I don't know. <laughs> you know, like it's, I don't know, it's just different. I'm so used to just being by myself or like with Dalvin or whatever and he understands and knows what's going on. My mom still doesn't understand exactly like she doesn't know YouTube, like, of course she knows of it, but she doesn't understand, like, oh, you can make videos and content and stuff and put it out there 
and you can make money from it so I have to explain it to her a little bit more so that's another reason why I'm trying to like hurry up and do this because I don't want them to come home <laughs> and out there is a mess because my room was actually filled I'll just explain that later in the in the room in the room tour okay so I'm going to be dipping into hmm safari and it's just a light brown color and I'm just going to be spreading it all over my lid well basically in my crease but like kind of on top of my crease so yeah and then kind of like angle it like this with your brush and I actually forgot my tape this time <laughs> it helps out I just I don't use it all the time I just use it if I want it like that really intense line so yeah uh, if you are new here please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'm still working on doing working on how to do makeup and all of that no I am not a pro I'm just starting out but I really 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 enjoy doing playing with makeup and making content I've always wanted to do it I just didn't know where to start at all you know like I've always watched makeup videos I'm going to be dipping into King I've always watched you know YouTube videos and all of that but I'm going to be taking it in the outer corner and then kind of like inside the crease so I'm deepening the crease so yeah I just started watching this youtuber her name is Emma Flem Fleming I think she is from Ireland and she has an accent and everything I think all the people I watch on YouTube like the beauty girls and all that they're all not in the United States so um, one's from Ireland one's from the UK and the other one is in Canada so <laughs> it's kind of funny plus I'm a huge accent person I love accents so so much I guess this isn't really a it's a makeup tutorial but it's also kind of like a get ready with me kind of thing because I'm not only talking about makeup I'm also conversating with you guys so kind of just winging it <laughs> mm. oh I'm so hungry I can't wait to go grab some food my camera turned off guys <laughs> I got scared for a second because I don't know anything about it so if something goes wrong I am out of luck because Dalvin isn't here and he can't maybe he can explain it over the phone but what if I don't get it or whatever so it would be really tragic if something happened <laughs> and it stopped recording and I couldn't get it back to recording and all that I would have to do it in Ohio but then you won't have this beautiful background which I'm so excited about and I took your guys' advice and well I it's not a choice to use a, a green screen but I did agree with you do a background like this than a green screen because it does mess with things but also I don't have the green the studio fully set up so that's also why it looked kind of hectic Had all the lights and all that it would have looked better but I do like um, backgrounds like this rather than a green screen I do like green screens I don't know I don't know <laughs> so let's see my eye is looking good now I'm just gonna take like a more fluffier brush this is M531 and just kind of blend them all together just very lightly though blend these all together Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'll probably have some music right here or something and then I believe I'm going to be taking this sparkly color and hmm, let's cut my crease and then do the sparkly color so yeah I'm learning a lot of things from this new youtuber that I'm watching the girl from Ireland it only does a video so that's where I watched 
my videos and get my ideas from for the makeup videos and all that plus I'm still learning so she's teaching me some tricks on how to do some things and yeah I'm gonna use one of them in this video actually so I really like it is okay so what it is is a don't wear black eyeliner on my waterline whatsoever I stopped doing that in like sixth grade because I just feel like I have smaller eyes so my eyes look even smaller if I put some black liner on it so I stopped wearing it for years and years and years and years and I'm going to be taking this M43 brush wait 400 <laughs> oh my gosh I'm going to be taking this M434 brush and dipping into landscape which is like a pretty rose gold shimmer just like this so what was I talking about <laughs> what was I talking about oh my gosh technic I don't remember let me think let me think oh oh yeah eyeliner so eyeliner <laughs> um so yeah I'm gonna be using the I, I'm actually going to be putting the eyeliner on my waterline this time she did something that I never even thought about doing and it looks really good and I tried it and it looks better on me now because now I actually know how to do it right and I don't look crazy so then I just go back in with the brush that I put the, when I dipped into King, this little gold brush, and then kind of just blend everything together so that the shimmer isn't like just one straight line, you know, and just blend this all out. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you enough. How amazing it feels to not have nails on like for real I must have had nails on for like eight months straight maybe I mean I took it off but then I just went and got them back on so to have them free for a couple of days feels so good I can actually type on my phone I can open things don't get me wrong I love getting my nails done and having nails it's just like sometimes you gotta let them breathe oh I know I look crazy right now <laughs> just doing the same thing on the other eye with the shimmer kind of just pack it all on there I heard a lot of beauty gurus with shimmers they wet their brush a little bit with setting spray first and I guess it like brings out the shimmers more but I don't think I have setting I can't talk setting spray I really need to buy that it needs to be next to my list actually wait I have this oh I do have some it's from Victoria's Secret it's funny <laughs> ironic it's make it last prime and set makeup spray so I'm not gonna do it now but I'm gonna do it at the end of my makeup look I'm not gonna uh, spray the brush now or maybe I should yeah let's try it okay so let's try it never did this let's see if it makes a difference mmm not much but hey it was worth a try <laughs> okay so I'm just going to be blending this all out on this eye then I'm going to be putting mascara on and starting my false lashes I can't wait to start making more money on my channel because I really want to just go to an Ulta or Sephora and just buy all the expensive makeup I, that I've always wanted but just could never get because I didn't have the money for it. So that's super exciting and I can't wait for that. Oh, 
first I'm going to be putting on my mascara and I use L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original in jet black so I just coat my lashes once does everybody do funny mouth uh open your mouth and do faces when you're putting on your mascara I do all the time and I catch myself and I'm like you look crazy <laughs> so I'm going to put on my lashes I'm just taking off the old glue you know what I want to do and try maybe I should make a video out of it how to clean your lashes I've done it once but I don't think I did it right but uh yeah I want to do that because my lashes are dirty I usually just throw them away and get new ones but I want to buy some really expensive ones and just clean them all the time like a lot of beauty gurus use um, Lily lashes and I really want to try those eyelash glue is duo it's white slash clear it's not really clear it's white but that's what it says on the package so I just do a little line of glue, whoa, kind of just spread it with the thing like this and then let it sit and dry up. So, oh my gosh, it's time. They're going to be coming home soon. I have to hurry up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I know they're going to be so mad about the mess out there. I'm going to clean it up, just not right away, because I have to do this video, and then I have to do my room video, and then I'm going to go get my nails done, which I have to make an appointment. Oh, maybe I might do that tomorrow. So much to do in such little time. Oh, you know what? Dang it. I did not think of this. I wonder if you guys can hear that fan. I really hope not. Maybe I should put some light music in the background. <laughs> so what you want to do is get the glue really tacky. Not completely dry, but almost dry. And then place it on your lid. And kind of just move it around while, while it's still wet. So I basically just let it sit there. And I want it to fully dry. I clamp my fake lashes and my real lashes together. And don't worry about the glue. It dries up and you won't see it anymore. I know. I don't know if you guys see it now. After it dries, you don't see it anymore. So I'm going to be continuing doing the next one the same way. Throw some glue on there. Take tweezers, throw some glue on there. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just messed up. Oh, I really just messed up. <laughs> okay. So, I heard a car. I don't know if they're here or not. <laughs> I'm really just scared because there's a whole bunch of stuff in the hallway. I'm really excited to get my nails done, especially by my guy that I always get them done when I'm in Milwaukee. His name's Eric, and he's the owner of the shop. I only go to him because I believe he does the best work in my opinion everybody can do what he does so uh, me and my mom go to the same person and I'm thinking about doing a pink and purple look with maybe some jewels I haven't had pink 
Well, I had pink, but there's like this original pink that I used to always and only get on my nails. Like every time I got my nails done, I only got this pink done. I don't know. I was so obsessed with it, but I haven't got it in a long, long time. So I think it's overdue to get this pink on my nails. I'm super excited. It's like a neon pink. It's like basically kind of like this color. A million of these dogs, you're gonna see them in my room video. Uh, of course I do, I love pink. I love pink so much. I have like, I probably have like 15 pink dogs, maybe, 15 or more. It's kind of funny. I have two, I have three right here. Plastic one, and then this one's fuzzy, and then this one is wearing a little jacket. <laughs> so, yeah. But like I said, you'll see more of those in my room tour, which I'm super excited about. I think you guys will like it. It's super girly and like glam, but please don't judge me because it is not finished I left before I finish decorating so like I said I still need some more pictures and all that it prime the bottom of my face and the reason for me not putting um, primer or foundation on the bottom half of my face is because the fallout of my well, there's not much this time, but sometimes there's follow of my eyeshadow, and I don't want that to get on my foundation, so I do this last. So I just prime my face. Oh, I'm also looking for a new primer. So if you have some suggestions, can you please comment them down below? Like I said, I had I have really oily skin, so just keep that in mind. If you have the same skin as me. Let me know what kind you use down in the comment section. This one works. It's just, I kind of just want to test out other ones. But yeah, let me know. Like, you can even let me know the more expensive ones or just the drugstore ones. Either one. Whatever you guys personally use, I would love to try. I just repeat the step I did on my forehead. I just pour some out on my beauty blender kind of dot it around a little bit and then start blending oh also foundation if you because I like full coverage because I have acne scars and um, <clears throat> I have acne scars and I have breakouts sometimes um, if you guys have some suggestions on what good foundation, did I already say this? I think I did. Oops. Um, but yeah, just let me know. <laughs> but like more full, uh, full coverage foundation. Oh, I sound like I'm getting sick. So what I do is bring it down on my neck. And I took a step up from when I first started my makeup. <laughs> started wearing makeup in like sixth grade or whatever. I would never blend down on my neck. And I always looked like I had a mask on. It looks so bad, um, but I'm all grown up now and I realize that you need to blend. <laughs> so yeah, I even blend on my ears also and just all down my neck. And a little bit on my chest, just so I don't look like... All different colors this headband keeps on sliding I made this headband by the way <laughs> I cut up an old um, blazer oh I should I did that for a DIY I can do something else with it there's still a lot more left 
Uh, maybe that should be a video. Let me leave me some ideas in the comments as well on if I should, what I can make out of a cut up blazer. Would you guys like that or no? I think it'd be fun. Oh yeah, I have to bring my uh, my hats and my little headbands back to Ohio for when it starts getting cold. They're up in my closet. getting pretty late. I wonder why they're not coming home yet. These colors are absolutely perfect together. I think it matches me like perfectly. Don't you hate that? I don't know. I just feel like whenever I get a foundation, it doesn't like perfectly match me. I never used to mix my foundations. But as I started watching more and more makeup videos, I have. And it's actually a good idea because I can never find my perfect shade for the life of me. It just never works out ever. So I think my lashes are dry. Like I said, I just take my tweezers and I clamp them together. And then kind of just like lift them up. This one's still drying, so I'm gonna leave it alone for a second. So the what I'm gonna do next is the little technique I learned from from the the girl I've been watching from Ireland. Crazy thing is, also, I, like I said, I never wore an eyeliner in years, and I forgot I, uh, I had this little baby eyeliner. When I, when I seen her doing it, I ran to the bathroom. Well, first I was thinking, like, oh man, like, I don't have black eyeliner, I'll have to go get some. And then I ran to the bathroom, and I was like, wait, I, I think I still have this eyeliner <clears throat> that I haven't used. So, yes, it's old. And I know it's probably bad to use old um, makeup, but I haven't broken out yet, so I should be good. So what I do is line my bottom lash. I mean my my bottom lash. My um my waterline. And then I just take a little pointy brush this one oh my gosh oh my gosh I have a white fuzzy carpet and I really hope I didn't get makeup on it oh I'm gonna be so mad if I did so I'm gonna be taking this morphe m455 brush and kind of like um <clears throat> smearing it just so it's not like a straight black line so I kind of just smear it like below it just a little bit like that and then I take my little Morphe E37 brush and dip into a brown that I used on my lid and I'm going to go with a little bit darker color, Pride Rock. And kind of just also drag that along my lash line, uh, my water line. Ooh, I think they might be here. Oh my gosh, I just poke myself in the eye. And then I'm going to dip into King, the lighter brown. Oh 
and there. So I like this look a lot. Like I really, really like it. I'm going to start doing it more because that's how much I like it until I get sick of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some mascara on my bottom lash line. And this eye is complete. Don't worry, I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see my full face look after I'm done. Yeah, I messed up on this one, so the glue is looks crazy right now. But like I said, it will dry and it will go away. So I'm just going to continue on doing the same thing on this eye. Smear it. And then, oh my gosh, they're here. Hello? Okay, one second. So I'm gonna take my mascara. And with my uh, makeup spray. And that should be done. <laughs> so I just baked my face and um, next I'm going to just use some a little bit of blush. Um, this is just a little drugstore brush and I'm dipping into Tarte blush. It, the name of it is Party. <laughs> so I just go like this, brush it off and kind of just put it on the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going to set my face with my setting spray. Okay. And the look is done. I hope you guys liked this video. It was super fun. It was a get ready with me. I'm kind of... Uh, I don't know if it was quick or not. I don't know how long this is. It doesn't tell me. But yeah, it was just a little get ready with me video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, please go give it a thumbs up. And go comment those things I asked for down in the comment section below. I'm going to sign off and probably go do my room tour video. So I love everybody. I love you, 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 and you. Bye, guys.